depending on the player too, mm -hmm. but uh, we'll see where Liquid takes this one away. They banned out the AM, now they're thinking about another core that benefits from uh, Magnus and his Empower. They ban out just the Alchemist, that's what they don't want to play against. You know what I've been thinking about? And this goes back to what you were saying about a month ago, we mm -hmm. have, we'd be having totally different discussions about the draft. Heroes like Magnus, especially when they get buffed, and Slardar, which we're seeing coming back, these heroes change carry matchups so much. You know, you think of like a Spectre versus Sven. Who wins that? It's like, well, clearly Spectre, right? This is the late game, mm -hmm. the queen of Dota. But I with the new Aghanims on Sven, not so much. With the new buffs on Sven, not so much. With the Magnus in power, there's, there it is. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's it's like these things basically make it so, so that... Man, you need some crazy Wombo from Liquid. You need some crazy steroids in order to outcarry this. Usually, you don't even need the steroids for Sven. Look at him. He's so buffed up. He's so gachi. This dude does not need your help. But he, he doesn't, does. He doesn't want he the does empower. Against he's the like queen. He's like empowered Rubik. I don't care. <laughs> well, I've been to the gym 365 out of 365. Like I'm, I'm here to fight, and he really is. Especially when he's playing versus Darkseer and Earth Spirit. Just think about this lane. How do you pressure a Sven? Like he'll farm under the tower constantly, and you can't even dive him. I feel like a lot of people have been citing the Aghanim Scepter as one of the reasons why Sven has made a reemergence in the meta. But his mm. God Strength duration. It's, right. it's God's strength changes. Yeah. It really is. Let me specify. Let me specify this because I've I've been one of those people that's like okay. the Ags is broken. Let's hear it. It's the fact that the Ags is good, but he's not a shit hero either. Right. It's, it's the, like you throw that Ags spell on any other good carry, and it's going to be good. L look, but that... I think Sven without the Ags is a dog trash hero, even with the the new God strength, which I'm a huge fan of, mm -hmm. by the way. All Big right. Fan. So two buffs made him good because this Agnim Scepter got added. What? quite a while ago yeah, it's been a while. and teams started playing around it I, I've casted a lot of tournaments seen a lot of players that would try Sven with yeah, Aghanims first it was... and in some games it looks amazing but the hero still wasn't strong enough mm -hmm. now with the God Strength changes plus that Aghanims he needed that it can work yeah. it doesn't necessarily mean that he has to go for the Aghanims route there are still other item builds that you can go for but Echo Saber Aghanims looks pretty solid mm -hmm. When it comes, when we come back to Team Liquid, they went for Grimstroke Ricky. It's a pretty, classic. yeah, it's a classic. It's a pretty strong laning stage. It's a hero as well. That's oh, oh my wow, god! Wow, they got yeah. dude. <laughs> they speaking got of steroids, of they got all the good steroids. Dude, my boy Sven brought all his boys to the gym. This he is did. Uh, he got two spotters right now. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna get the kicked out. There's, yeah, <laughs> the real gym bros. Right There's here. social distancing issues with this because I, I think they're gonna be very close to each other. And this isn't just. You know, Slardar being good for the Sven in general, but now you have True Sight on the Ricky with the Corrosive Haze. This is haze. true. This is true. Oh, that, that's very true. Uh, you are revealing that your Magnus is mid, so perhaps Team Liquid can abuse that somehow. Slardar on the offlane uh, versus Ricky and Grimstroke also shouldn't really suffer that hard. Depending on who will be there with him, should it be the Rubik or will they pick something else? I think it should be the Rubik. And that's a pretty solid lane for them already. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, that's a. You can you can deal with the with the Ricky uh, being ink swelled too. You, you just press your stun <laughs> and, right. walk, and walk away, and you you got you have yeah. a sprint, so it's not just a, an insta kill, you know. Yeah, the way the ink swell works, you need like some duration on heroes to actually get a exactly. stun duration. Exactly. Um, and you have lift as well from Rubik. Yeah. But right. it's, it, you, you can still get it. Like uh, Rubik is definitely a, a target. I was going to say, I think they have to yeah. go for the Rubik. You, you can slow him with Stroke of Fate and the level 1 t uh, lift, which is the maximum amount of lifts that you're going to get there. You, you're not leveling that spell any, anymore. Um, because of that, he's susceptible to dying. You, you can take him out. I will say it's very peculiar to be looking for a five position, most likely from Viking GG as the final pick. That mm -hmm. is something we don't see very often I, in drafts. I, I would say like, oh, it's, it, it could be a Magnus five because, you know, people mm -hmm. have done it before, but it's, not not against Dark Seer with Sven. Like, it, you need something to secure the lane. It could be just Enchantress. It's not banned. Oh, it's first banned. <laughs> first hero that was uh, yeah, banned. Uh, yeah, uh, Oracle's Oracle's thinking, perfect pick. Oracle's I'm thinking also like banned. A Jikiro. Like, uh, like they, there's no purges mm -hmm. left from from what I'm seeing, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of like taking off the shell, 
but Jakiro at least can like blow up the wave, and it's a ranged hero to pair with Sven. It's a really good kill combo. Is Phoenix banned? Yeah, I would, I would assume Phoenix It's comboed banned. with yeah, Magnus banned. as well, right? You have that ice bat after. Exactly. It's pretty right. solid. Jakiro is overall like your no-brainer when it comes to a position five. That's pretty much always good. Disruptor I like the as void, well. Yeah. Is not the bad. Void Spirit ban is pretty good um, coming from Viking GG, something that we mentioned earlier. Now that you have given your cards away, like you showed your hand that Magnus mag is mid, like you, you ban out one hero that's in the meta and that deals with um, Magnus. I'm wondering, maybe Team Liquid will pick something different, maybe they'll... I think uh, Necro is a really good pick for them right now. They're playing against three melee strength guys. I was thinking Timber, but he gets shredded by the minus mm -hmm. armor. Like Necro, I do not see how you kill a Necro with these heroes. I think a Necro just runs away with this Yeah, you game. don't. You don't. Necro would be fantastic for them. And you can't really counter him with your position 5 last pick because most of those heroes that uh, <laughs> deal with Purge, the they're banned. They're right. banned because of the right. Darkseer. So. Well, you want all the dispels and they're all gone. Exactly. That's, that's pretty interesting, actually. That I guess you could justify an earlier nullifier from a Sven, but that's something that you need later on in the game. Yeah, Sven's not a big. F I mean, I guess he. D I suppose he does have the dispel talent, which that's will, true on the storm that's hammer. A, that's a very late timing to play against a Necro, and I yeah. feel like Necro at that point is just like, all right, bud. Like he's gonna have a Lotus Orb at that point, and he just reflects the stun. So it's uh, yeah, not so. Yeah. Not you can so see great. Team Liquid with their last band. They're just aiming. Damage amplification. <laughs> <laughs> They're dealing with a vengeful. Is that a venge ban? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's an overkill even, but it's pretty solid. It helps you with the swap, and you also have that wave of terror, which is pretty sick. The aura comes in handy, but uh, the minus armor would be too much for Team Liquid to deal with. Yeah, they can They can definitely oh, just get shredded. A, a Shadow Demon would maybe make some stacks for Sven, have a dispel for a potential. I mean, we don't know if it's going to be a Necro or something like that. Why don't you get a snap fire? Yeah, they went this for is, granny. Really, this is um, just player preference. It, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that the grandma is fantastic here. It's a solid hero, but it really does come down to player preference. Your last pick was a position five. Celery played uh, grandma multiple times. It's a hero they just go back to. I, I, dude, I feel like Necro. You're playing into four strength heroes, bro. Like. <laughs> Oh, okay, Zeus. Well, that's, you know, uh, percentage damage. That's uh, probably should have seen that one coming, too. <sighs> it's kind the, of a squishy team on Liquid, though. Yeah, very squishy. Your cores are going to struggle again. Like, they get hit in three shots by the Sven, and they're going to be at critical HP. I, I, do, I do love the just the idea of picking some strength punisher right now, though. Like, True. you're just, you're kind of asking for it if you're, if you're Viking. They also have... Uh, Potentially three blink heroes, probably two. Sven's not really much of a blink builder anymore, but you you really you have agonists. You don't need blink. Yeah, yeah right? that's right. It's exactly. even better. Your 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 Zeus won't deal with you, um, and but, you, you have know. that dispel talent as well on Sven, so Ghost won't save them. No, he can keep his distance though. Yeah. Like I, I don't I don't think this is a particularly hard Zeus game to be honest. Like people think Sven's good at jumping a backline Zeus, but I feel like Zeus is can can keep the distance and he'll get a blink. You can you can still blink the Sven stun, which is. Nice. Uh, keep in mind though that the Agonims that does give you range on Sven as well. It's not only it's not only the, the fine Superman, Superman right. motion, right, right. it also gives you a ton of range that can catch you off guard. Plus someone gets a telescope, suddenly Zeus isn't really in a really good position throughout these team fights. Oh, it's it's you know. still kinda favoring liquid. Unsurprisingly, they took this the second game. 1.41 to 2.76 on EGB.com. Lizard, how do you feel? Which way are we going so far I, in this draft? I'm not sold with this EGB um, odds, man. Like, given, you're giving Viking more respect. Yeah, oh, giving, like, you. In the second game, I thought Spectre was solid, but I saw what Team Liquid had in their lineup. Like this com These combos with Drow were really strong. However, this time around, it's just, Team Liquid looks fast, mm -hmm. looks mobile, but this is a rock on the side of Viking GG. And it doesn't care. You can just bash your head against it. I'll go with Viking GG. Jenkins, how about you? You got your boy Zeus, you got a strength punisher, but you is know, it enough punishment? It's it's a tough one because I don't see, unless the Ricky pops off, how they stop Sven from jungling and getting huge. And I think the Zeus-Sven matchup is, you know, Zeus likes to be in that mm. one, uh, even with the Ag's change, but uh, not when Sven has two items on you. And do, do you care about the jungle if you're Sven? What, what's the pressure on the lane? Earth Spirit and Dark Seer? There's no, there's that no pressure. doesn't work. There's like, no pressure. Yeah, this Sven it's, will it's have, Ricky. Like, Ricky's yeah. the only hero that needs to pop off to actually mm -hmm. stop Sven from farming. So I'm, I'm going to go Viking, actually. Then let's see if this Grimstroke-Ricky combination is going to be effective enough. 
get Viking GG an upset as we move forward into Game 3 and send it over to our casters. Thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, it, it does look like the Ricky Grim stroke. It, it is very strong. Sure. It's got a lot of fast-paced potential for it, but do you sort of share the, the same worries the draft panel when it comes down to the fact that they're just rather squishy, these they are, heroes? They're very squishy in their versus Corrosive Haze. Slardar, pretty good hero. We don't get to see it too much, but this hero packs a punch. This hero is also very good versus invisibility heroes. Corrosive Haze, a good ability versus a Ricky in particular in the game. Yeah, and it's and yeah, it's just going to be interesting if Liquid Eye able to do the damage. Sure, yeah. as the panel touched upon, there is that Zeus. He's going to help a little bit sort of chunk through these tanky high HP heroes. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's the thing, you know, they, they are pretty much apart from the Ruby, they're all they're high all HP tanky. heroes, yeah. which we did see be a little bit of the downfall for Liquid in game one, where they were playing against this tanky lineup that, that just, you know, come that sort of 12 minute plus mark where Viking GG is running at you, do you actually have the tools to jump in and get a kill? Yeah, and it's very tanky heroes with lots of burst damage, right? Last game they had this kind of, they had, they didn't really have burst, but they had this um, constant damage, right? Firefly, Dooms, Ticking, uh, Scorched Earth is ticking, all these type of different things ticking. This time, they have Fade Bolt, they have Shockwave, they have nu Nuke from Grandma, they have Nuke from Sven. Lots of different forms of Nukes, which they played really well around when they ran aggressive. And yeah, I mean, we'll see what Koikva can do. I think him and the Grimstro or him and the Ricky have to pop off this game. Because bottom, I don't see them being able to, just because I think it's a really strong lane from Viking. And I'm worried about them getting the invasion plays. I am really worried about them pressuring the Sven in the jungle. Some other fun interactions I guess we do have as it will, when the game does build up later is Grandma in this game is actually... I actually really like playing Snapfire versus both Grimstroke and Zeus as the game progresses because your uh, little Shredder, you can just kill the Phantom's Embrace pretty much instantly before it even gets onto a target so the silence gets countered really hard. Same thing for Nimbus. If Zeus gets a Nimbus later on, Snapfire solo kills it. You just little Shredder hit it and it's gone. So there's a couple different things we can look out for as the game does progress. That'll be way later on, of course, but... Look at, look at this as well. Do, do you like this from Aramis? I, I don't know, I'm pretty sure this isn't the standard, but he's come to lane with the, the full sort of tanky fine, but he's bought six tangos. He's got a circlet and three branches on this Rubik, going for these early stats. So I've, I saw GH do it. I've seen yeah. a couple people now doing this. You just go for this straight right-click build. Uh, I, I think it was actually GH that did that, and he they gave him a bottle from his other, like the three position gave him a bottle, and he was just so strong. Yeah. Like, he could actually trade hits. Sometimes the problem with Rubik is you can't trade hits, but when you have this with Fade Bolt, you can take any type of battle. And yeah, I, I just, I love this grandma pick. I think this Snapfire is so good versus pretty much everybody on the side of, pretty much everyone on the side of Liquid, except for, I guess, like Ricky and Urspirit can work against him, but I think it's still just a fine hero. They hit level two, though. See what they're gonna do. They're gonna jump onto Aramis, but you know, he's yeah, with these stats and the fairy fire, he's a hard man to pop. And with all the tangos that he brought to lane for the two of them, they've got the sustain to to just continuously heal themselves up against the harassment from Insania and Mika. Mika gets that last hit, a little bit of faster attack speed. Oh, courier! Oh no! Will he get his items delivered? I think he did. Might pay with his life though. Nice kick away there from Tiger, protecting yeah. his buddy. Just making sure that. Boxy won't take any further hits from the two of them. Top lane, another bit of an attempt with the Ink Swell and the Tricks of the Trade. Toby getting oh. low, he's going to try and bring down Insania first and will be able to do so. First blood for Viking, as they're the ones to find the kill. This is the fun lane. I think this is the lane that we should be keeping most of our eyes on because I believe it's going to be just back and forth attempts at trading kills. Don't think bottom should be like too exciting. I think the Sven should just free farm for the most part here. Mid, I guess yeah, this one. This it's, it's just back and forth, back and pushing, forth. farming, yeah. isn't it? You know, you got to see both heroes farm pretty pretty quickly. I mean, you, you, you'd imagine that the Magnus will still take over in farm yeah. as he's just going to clean up the camps at a at a pace that the Zeus cannot match. Yeah, uh, I wonder if he's going, is he doing the new the new Zeus build, we call it, that everyone's talking about? I guess the 4-0-2. We'll uh, the 4-0-2, four four four. Yeah. Four yeah. I mean, we'll see in a second as they're trying to pressure Mick at top. He's got a triple range creep. He's trying to make sure that they don't just get free last hits, but inevitably Slaughter will. 
So I guess we'll see. We'll see soon what build it is from Koi. I believe it's... Yeah, he's going for the the new Zeus build that everybody does. Yeah, so so what's... You know, for, for some of the viewers out there, what's yeah. the logic behind this build? I mean, who, it was what sort of Topson who started to do this first? Or? I think so. I mean, I think maybe there was a couple others, but I know Topson yeah. was one that was really starting to do a lot of his pubs. Um, you just push the lane out. You literally just spam you, your nuke, you push lane out, and they can never really pressure you, and then you farm the side or whatever. You're and just, it's just, just what the... Oh, bottom. You get the, the cookie onto Boxy, but still holding onto the Surge. So we'll be fine. And this is just what more valuable than sort of Cypher, you know, getting constant mana sent out to you and spamming Lightning Bolt at the enemy mid. Yeah, the, it's just the thing is now it's all about farming, right? And now if you just go for that Lightning Bolt build, yeah. they just buy more regen and then they out farm you and then you're not getting last hits and you're spending all your man on harassment rather than actually becoming stronger. So you look at those last hits. Yeah. If uh, if he went if Zeus went for just lightning bolt, oh, he'd be getting destroyed. He'd be getting destroyed. Yeah. He wouldn't be able to last hit because now you at least have that 150 tool or that 120 whatever it is at that level two or 100 at level two to be able to go for those last hits. So I'm trying to go for Toby. Here we go. Damage. Have they got enough? The lift up there. Dragon Mike back will save Toby. But he's got no regen, and he brought gloves of haste. They will have a salve from Aramis at least to bail him out. Meanwhile, the bottom, they then it did end up finding the kill onto Boxy Sven. Continuing to get free farm and look at this Dark Seer's last hits. Where are they? They're not there. No, six yeah. last hits so far for Boxy. Yeah, he's struggling. Really struggling. Looking at these bounties, looks like it should be a two for two, but Liquid's actually setting up for the kill here to try to get an extra one. But Chad also sets up aggressive to take the bottom one, and they might even be able to find Tiger too. Oh, they're getting quite a few kills down here. Oof. And it's Viking. I mean, for the first time for the series, we've seen what in the first two games. What could ha Liquid happen? The squad's come out top, top lane. Nice. Okay. okay. Still able to jump over towards Aramis. Thunder God's Wrath comes out. Aramis pops the Verify, the Bash. Oh, well, on to Mickey. Toby able to hold Mickey in place so that Aramis can get away. Mickey's going to take quite a bit of a punch in return. Tiger will come in in time nice. to keep Mickey alive and get the kill on Toby. Nice rotation by Tiger. Oh, the stats on the Rubik just keep making him live every single time. Boxy now we will be able to get away. Lose, we'll lose his courier. But does at least keep himself alive for the moment. And look at this by Shad. A bit of a different item play here. Yeah, we'll see bottom. Boxy gets annihilated, but yeah, they get the chase off afterwards. Interesting choice here by Shad. Phase boots. Oh. He just wants that little bit of extra movement speed, I think, just to be able to get on top of these heroes. Also, the armor. He's going to be real tanky. This Ricky. Yeah. Phase boots plus Warcry versus Ricky. Okay. It's mostly magic damage on the side of Team Liquid, but I think what he really wants is just that extra little bit of push of speed. I, I think so. You know, it could be very, very, very good against this the smoke screen in particular as well. Those sort of yes. big game silences coming. You, you know, you, you're unable to do anything. You cannot turn and fight until you're out of it, and you're able to pop your war cry, your god strength. So, yeah, that movement speed making all the difference in that sense. And and because you are going for this Midas build, he'll have attack speed. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, it's got, you, you're going to have that front covered. Took the words out of my mouth. Taiga continuing to play up toward that top side. Just wants to secure Mickey. Just keep the slaughter down a little bit here. I don't think you want Toby to hit an early level six if he gets a kill somehow here. No. So no. I like this play around here. I think he already knows too. Bottom is, you know, disaster. Nice play by Taiga. Second time this game he's done that where he's walked into a tower range, not under normal vision, and spots out a ward because of it. Very good awareness by this Earth Spirit. Oh, another arcane ring for Koifa. Back to back games. And two excellent heroes for them yeah. as well. Having the, the dream of neutral items. Still, though, just looking at just net worth, you can see Mick has been pressured. This Slardar Rubik lane has definitely slowed his farm down. Look at the Sven. Not pressured at all. They pushed Boxy completely out of lane two. This is an excellent start here for Viking. It is, which is, you know, say, was. It's something that we haven't seen so far this series. Game no. one and game two, uh, regardless of the way that they ended up going, uh, both games where Liquid were off to a hot start in the lane. Yep. So this time around, Viking, they're going to show us what, what, what happens when they themselves actually get ahead from the off. Especially when you have a Sven, and you have Ancient stacks, and Neutral stacks all over the place. Look at Aramis. And, and Empower. And Empower. I think this is, this is a concern for Liquid already here. They really need to start snowballing the game early on and starting to find ways into accessing the Sven's jungle. Or we're going to see the Sven have two plus items on a Ricky and a Zeus. And oh, if yeah. they get to that point, I don't see how Liquid can actually do anything. They need to start ramping their movements up. Yeah, exactly. I think it was, it was either Lizard or Jenkins on the panel who did say exactly that. Yeah, you yeah. let 
if I can get two items, suddenly how are you actually how are you actually killing any of these he's, cores? He's gonna be too tanky and he's gonna be able to access the back line. So here we see the Zeus triple null build. That's the other thing we see people do is multiple nulls with this build, so you actually do damage when you do try to rotate since you don't have bolt. And let's see what they can find here. Thunder Rust coming out there, looking to get back underneath the tower. Boom's gonna drop the RP, kill off Foxy, they're diving oh, Shad. for Shad. They, they will it. find it. Okay. That's nice. I didn't think he would even be playing on the bottom side anymore. I thought he'd be playing up in the triangle, but does get spotted out. Aramis doesn't react though. We see that little orange ping on the minimap right there, stacking another ancient. So what looks like oh, a four X ancient stack. Oh, is it more. a quad stack? You can't stack it more than four. Uh, uh, because radiant. It's actually impossible. Yeah, you, just you have, have to, to use it. Oh, it's actually only a triple. So. Ah, uh, yeah, it needs to. You know, you have to get good. It's so, it's actually. I, I yeah, can't, you can't, I actually can't stack it on uh -huh. radiant more than three times. I have you such a hard time. But fair enough. I am a scrub now. <laughs> I've noticed so many players that look. Matumba the other day too missed the stack. Yeah. Everyone's missing that stack for some reason on Radiant. It's just much more difficult than Dire. Nice again kill though. Koikva getting active, moving around the map, finds a couple bottom. Now it's kind of messing with the regularness of the lanes. They're starting to really break that up See here. See if they can get the, the surf one or arrows, but they can't. Roll in with the Inkswell. Very nice. As TP's coming in, but nothing to be done in terms of saving Aramis. Uh, third move here, Viking, they are going to fight back now with Shag coming in with the God Strength onto Insania. The Grimstroke will fall. Bye. Space will be there though for Boxy to surge away. Okay. A lot of battling coming on as we expected. Lots of movements. Mickey looking to get involved in the fray. With that Iron Shell, with that Grimstroke and that Surge, he's all buffed up on this Ricky. Yeah, looking over towards Celery now. And uh, they're going to find him again. So Liquid, the, the, these moves, I mean, they sort of found three kills. Back to back now, with these sweeps. I th I, they gotta do this though, that's the thing. They really do have to. Because I think if Mika just sits top and tries to do this farming thing, he's a Ricky versus a Sven. You know what's gonna happen in that case. You're gonna get out farm. So yeah, utilize those Ion Shells, utilize that Inkswell. Look for these constant dives, look for these constant plays. Can they invade the triangle now? The big question. Can they stop the Sven from farming the stack? Or the Magnus? It's already gone. Oh, it's already gone. Just yeah, they've already done it. Whoops. Uh, I, I don't know who took it out of the two of them. I imagine... I guess he must have. We didn't... Maybe, uh, it, was a, maybe it was a split effort. I mean, yeah. either way, the, the gold was there for... Shad to get his Midas done. He's, he's got it complete. So. Yeah, it looks like it was Mo Boom who actually farmed it. Looking at his farm, right? Echo Saber tried. Yeah, more. and his levels as well. Yeah, he's level 11. Yeah, he definitely was the one who took it. Whoopsies, was looking at bottom... I guess it was when the whole dive was happening, so... Yeah, and, and Shab was finding yeah. action mid with the God Strength as we saw him popping it, able to pick up a kill on the Grim Stroke. Either way, same objective. They still need to find ways to be able to get into the enemy jungle. Because if Liquid starts to, if this starts, this starts to happen, this low period where they back up and farm, Vikings gonna get more out of the map. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah you're not contesting a, an empowered Midas Sven at this point. Shad is he's gonna be in a very lovely place right now, picking up all that farm. Yeah. Mikit doesn't really want to be forced to do this kind of stuff, though. Like, he's going to look to get involved, but he can't just literally just walk around inside the jungle either. Sure, he still he needs, needs to start to get something to defusal. get the yeah. yeah. So, they do have a lot of different tools, though. They have the Earth Spirit, they have the Zeus, they have Global Potential. So, he can still look to TP React pretty quickly, but... Yeah, this this whole downtime here, Vikings Vikings loving it. They're just farming. Everyone's farming, even an Empowered Slardar farming. And now they have a time to make a move because they see the Ricky showing top this entire time. Oh, it will be a big one. Man, uh, Mickey. Can they get the catch on him? They don't have the Slardar. They're going to go in with the Skewer. Drag him out with a Shockwave. RP what comes edge. out at the last moment to make sure. I mean, I guess they don't know who's there. They didn't want him to be able to jump to a, an ally. Did they, have the, they saw Cookie though, right? Uh, they may have done so. But I think Celery <laughs> also just... Yeah, he what went straight away with the ultimate. They got the Didn't carriage. want to stop casting the ultimate because yeah. he felt that he needed the down. I mean, yeah. It, they got the Either carriage. way, as you say, you know, it doesn't really matter how much they throw to, to get those sort of kills on, on a single hero like Ricky. Because as long as you're stopping Liquid from making moves, then your team is marks. happy. Exactly. So yep. throw everything in on getting one hero. You know it's going to be very hard for Liquid to make plays. Even if you've used your ults because they're four versus five now. This is where they have to capitalize though, right? It's Magnus ult is down, Snapfire ult is down. One of their big damage things is that Snapfire ult early on. So let's see what Liquid's able to make of it. Toby's pretty tanky though with this drum. Well, I'm gonna try and lead it onto the Slardar underneath the tower. Toby able to get the crush off, but Tiger and Mickey are in. 
Nice. Maybe Ajin come out with the Thunder Ghost Wrath now. Mickey jumps across for another. The smoke screen down, but Celery's out to the side. Mickey charging in. Deep pass nice tier two. And Aramis, he's been able to come up with the outplay. Or maybe not. Mickey will live for now with the tricks of the trade. He's away. The tower starts to punch into him. Boom comes in from the side with the skewer. And the nice, shockwave Mickey. picks up Tiger. Oh. Mike Mickey dives for the kill on Rubik, but gets punished. Shad shows up. Gets a freebie on the Ricky. That was a lot. But Mickey, he could have been out of there if he wanted to. He really got greedy for the kill. I don't think he expected Shad to come from the high ground there. Just gets clapped. And they get a couple kills there. Aren't able to turn it into the tower, though. Yeah, And I, I they guess... lose Mickey again. So back-to-back yeah. -back deaths for your Ricky. It's deep dives as well. You know, yeah. Trying to fight right by the tier 2 tower. I mean, it, it, you definitely start to feel the struggles of Liquid in, in the sense yeah. that you say, you know, they, they do have to fight. They've got to find these kills. They're not going to keep up when it comes to hitting the creeps. This is their only option. But if they nature, but... they don't come out on top of these dives, these these pickoffs, Viking GG Aga is just going to continue to crawl further and yeah. further ahead. Especially when Snapfire ult was down and RP is down. Now RP is up, Snapfire ult is up, and this Magnus is level 14 with Blink Echo Saber. Level 14! It's 14 minutes! Yeah, just Magnus things, you know? Oh my god, boom. Just, yep. Yeah, I mean, Magnus things for sure. 10 CS a minute. Again, though, Liquid relentlessly trying to push down for this mid-tower. Find Toby again. Where's that RP? Oh, he tried for a big one. He only gets the one, though. As Mickey will be fine. Insania will go down as he's caught underneath the, the firing They're line. As Tiger, fight. he's going to roll back in underneath the tower, but Shad's here with a god strike. The Soulbind on what the two the? of them. Mickey and Koifa, they're in trouble as well as Boom skewers across. Oh, Mickey's alive. He is going to live a little longer. Jumps out to the side somehow. Oh, Mickey my God. Actually, I mean, that could have been a, an entire mess for Liquid. But somehow, Mickey and Koifa didn't die despite being so bound together. And Mickey sitting on less than 100 HP. They couldn't quite finish him. And he will live. And it's a good job he did. As if those two went down there. This game would have started to look extremely messy for Liquid. Yeah, I think Boom got greedy. I'm pretty sure he shockwaved the Zeus instead of shockwaving the Ricky. I think he would have had the kill there, but I think he wanted to try to go for both of them because of the position they were in in the fight. Again, though, again, like Liquid, relentless. They've got to keep going. Down. Go again. They've got to keep going. Keep doing this. This is their only chance here with their lineup. They've got to fight. Yep, they have Zeus ult available too, and they have that Ink Swell plus Surge plus Ion Shell all getting ready to throw it on Mickey. They really want more. Here's the roll-in. Uh, it's not going to get the initial stun onto Boom. Telekinesis up as well. They'll commit onto the Rubik first up for the easy kill. They'll get Aramis. Skew and stun off to the side. Tiger falls. The vacuum on three into nothing, though. No follow-up after Boxy's attempt of initiation. But there is the space for the tower in mid to go down. So Liquid able to clean up an objective with that trade. A little something. Makes it easier for them to now charge in again and go for those constant relentless plays. Aramis, is I mean, Aramis, these little lifts too. I, I think like that lift was actually pretty annoying, right? Like he's trying to get this ink swell connection on the mag, and then it just changes everything because he gets lift and tossed away. Space here for keep Kobe. running at but the look at this. Yep, uh, this no is what hesitation. You they still got Zeus ult. They still got that Ricky Grim. Toby knows something's up. Scouting things out. Inkswell timing with the bullet. Catches him in it. And in fact, Aramis is going to TP in at an unfortunate time as he's caught in with the two of them. They'll burst through Aramis. Toby will manage to get out, though. Now Shad, he's in with the counterplay. Comes swinging around for the, the side. RP. The RP. Boom. He oh, catches baby. the two of them on the back line. Sets up to kill all three. This guy's a mag player, for sure. Excellent skewer blink into RP to get them out of positioning there. With Celery in position, too. Always getting the counter kills, and they only lost Aramis. Oh, Toby yeah, this... ends up living it through that chase. I mean, it, it seems sort of like Liquid with their lineup. They're trying to to play the play style that Viking GG themselves are so good at, right? We yeah. saw him game one, Viking GG. They lose the laning stage. They start making these moves where they just run at you, and then they, they get this incredible momentum. Mm -hmm. Liquid's trying that here in game three after falling behind in the lane to, uh, against Viking. And it, it's just not working out for their heroes. They just, as the panel said from the draft, they're struggling to get the kills quick enough. There's always the yep. chance for Viking to turn around. And the fact that Viking, they've gone for this farming slash fighting with the heroes, but the item builds Chad? favoring the green. He has a BKB already. They, they can't kill him. I mean, oh, how, how is no. this Sven ever going to die again? If he's always got the BKB off cooldown, oh they just, God. they're never going to be able to burst him. That has to be such a disappointing reveal for Liquid, right? It's just like, 
Oh, oh my god, he's got, he's a got an 18 minute Echo Saber minus yeah. BKB. All your aggression that you want to do is kind of just stopped. And what's, oh, the what's the plan now? I what's the plan? Get your Ricky Defusal, play around it. BKB's on cooldown. Now's your chance where maybe you can catch him off guard a little bit here, because you do have like 50 seconds or so. But yeah, I think I think Liquid's probably feeling the same as we are, where, uh-oh, there's a hole in our draft right now, and they're really starting to play at their strengths right now. Viking, they know that they can just sit back and farm, and the onus is on Liquid to do everything. Liquid literally has to try to keep running at just, them, or they're just going to keep falling further and further behind. Yeah, looking at the net worths, it's already starting to feel like, I mean, where's look, the carry? Look at the Who's levels. Who's the carry? Did you see the levels when it was brought up, too? Oh, no. You look at this. Yeah. 18 and 16, 16 and then 14 and 12, then 12, 12, 12. It's, yeah. uh, it's a pretty astronomical difference yeah. right now on the side I, and, and this is you, this is the the risk you won't run when you play a lineup that its success is purely riding on you finding action finding kill after kill after kill if you don't have any sort of fallback in, in terms of farming y you're gonna struggle especially uh, when you don't have a tower pusher. It's hard. Yeah. Like, they don't have a natural tower hitter, so let's say they do win these other fights. They, it's really tough for them to just turn it into a tower and then look to actually dominate the jungle and take over Shad. But, yeah, Shad just had the freest time possible. They've made space for him. And now he's fully online. He fully counters Liquid's oh, entire Insania. draft. Oh, Insania. Insania, you Rest poor... Rest in pieces. Poor soul. Goodbye. Goodbye. And, of course, all three cores benefit heavily from that. Impact. Yeah. You know, they, Magnus himself. It, it's the fact that on top of the... The way that Viker GG are getting away with... Oh, Celery oh. breaks. See so what they can find. They're going to jump in onto Celery. A buyback comes out from Insania. A buyback as well from Celery. As both teams bring everyone back into it. The Full jump retreat. forward, able to block the rollout. Attempt from Tiger. Traps him in. See if they can chase down from the box. He's starting to surge away. Toby on the chase. This is his territory as the Slardar. They have to get out of the water. They will be able to. And look at the build. Look at uh, Toby. Knowing that it's all magic damage really on Liquid, he's got a hood, and they even give him the shawl. Sure, he has no magic damage, but he's going to be able to absorb so much from the side of Liquid these next few moments. Yeah, it's feeling it's feeling pretty impossible for Liquid. I, they can still look to make some really aggressive moves on the map, but playing around these double BKBs is going to be yeah. really hard for them to it's, actually have anything happen. It's just sort of if you imagine like the. The graph of, of, of sort of how this game's going to progress for both teams. It's just very hard to see a point where where Liquid's game is is ever ahead again yeah. of Vikings with these heroes head to head. Like, when does it get better for Liquid? It, I, it doesn't feel like it does. Because even like sometimes we say like Dark Series versus Anti Mage yeah. against a Wall Illusion, the Wall of Sven is terrible, and Sven also kills it in a 0.5 seconds or something like that too. Yeah. So it, it does not seem like it's going to get easier at all for Liquid. Viking no, is preparing nice. for everything that preparing for everything that Liquid has too. It's all magic damage, double BKBs, hoods, maybe even pipes, etc. Yeah, getting harder and harder. Oh, I'm surprised what Shadi's yeah, halfway on, on towards his oh, Aghanims. You know, these items just coming out so fast. Aghanims. It's going to be sort of pre-25 minute Midas, Echo, BKB, Axe. Top lane, they're going to look to set up onto Boom, but he's he also got a BKB. BKB. Yep, and now they can look to re-engage if you would like yeah, to. Yeah, Boom's just scurrying in at the three of them. He says, you want some? Come and get some. Yep. And the other thing, of course, is Storm, uh, Sven, because he's so high level, he's going to get those talents online. He already has the Storm Dispels, and then he's going to have that level 20 minus 5 seconds. So I see a bunch of Yule Scepters. Zeus, the Yule Scepter, gone. Earth Spirit, Yule Scepter, gone. You have so little ways to actually protect yourself. And we're going to see that happening. We're going to see the Sven Ag start ripping people out of Yule Scepters, yeah. ripping surges off, and just finding opportunities to chase targets down very quickly. Now a blink also on Slardar, more initiation. Yeah, Liquid's going to need Liquid's going to need a dream of a fight where Koikfoot just sits in the back lines. Somehow the BKBs get baited, and he's able to just throw out his entire mana pool in spells. Yeah, they're, they're, they've got to start. Very, very tough. Hoping for Viking GG to to fat finger some of these BKBs. Yes, uh, that's, that's that's sort of what they're going to hope for now, Liquid. Yeah. Maybe Koikfo. I mean, like if he if there's always the factor of the Zeus. If he sits all the way in the back and gets his whole tool kit off. But he doesn't yeah. have a bruiser. Where's the bruiser to hold them in the front there for him? Yeah. Everyone's so squishy, like the panel said, like we talked about. It's tough for this Zeus for Koifa to sit in the back. It's such a hard lineup to play. Yeah, just very tough for them. Yeah, look at Mikke. He's queued up a Battle Fury. I, I, I was going to say, I think that's the, I that's the only way. Yeah, he, the, the, 
I, I don't that's know the what only way. Do, that's yeah. the only thing he can do. He can, he's just got to get a Battle Fury, hope that for whatever reason Viking GG don't end the game in 40 minutes, and, and somehow also hope that Viking GG spend all their time running around not hitting creeps, yeah. so Mikkei's able to catch up and farm. He bought something. What did he pick up? It's just a Yasha. He's memeing us. No, I think he'll still get it. No, he's memeing us. Yasha Battle Fury. No, he's memeing us. He needs a Manta, otherwise he can't play. Has no one on his team blind Lotus for him? I mean, it's not nothing like super dramatic. I've, honestly, like, I, I don't know. As I, much as he's joking then so about queuing them. up the Battle Fury, I think that would be the only... I mean, They're in it that feels position like the game too. is lost anyway yes. for Liquid. That would be an item that would maybe capitalize on Viking GG, like overextending, throwing high ground pushes. Yeah. It, it feels so damn hard. Uh, it's so hard. I, if let's see around the Roche pit, maybe they can get like some um, some wraparounds. Maybe some wraparounds on the back lines and bait the BKBs could be another big play. But yeah, still extremely difficult for them. Viking so damn tanky. Sven near level twenty. Magnus yeah. just hit twenty, so he gets the eight armor talent. So yeah, the little bit of physical damage that Mikit does provide is gonna be countered heavily. And Sven now has Ags. Oh yeah, here we go. It's Superman, go Sven, ready yep. to go. Time to smoke. Time to look for fights. He has just so much ease. That Stormhammer cast range is really the biggest thing. I think Lizard was the one who was talking about it. Scan. You can just stun the Zeus pretty much immediately when he shows himself. And you'll chase him. Even if he blinks backwards, yep. you'll chase him. There we go. That's Goodbye. Dead, 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 dead uh, spirit. Yeah, those blinks, those rolling boulders, Yeah, you're just going to follow them with the Sven. He's level 20 now. Five seconds Stormhammer cooldown. Five sec minus five seconds of how he can gap close on top of people now. And now it's a Roche too. Oh yep. boy, Liquid. Nothing to be done here by Liquid. And cannot fight Viking at all outside the base. They're, they've just got to hope for the high ground over extensions. You now Viking, they're, they're far ahead. Maybe Viking will get tempted into some fountain diving. Maybe that gives a chance for the Liquid's heroes to punish them. Nah. Nah. <laughs> kind of need to see um, Boom went for this Orchid build afterwards rather than doing the Disassemble build. I saw that yesterday. The Disassemble your oh, Echo Saber. Oh, didn't Disassemble the Echo. He didn't Kept do the, the Disassemble, yeah. I'm, dude, he's got so much free farm. He's like, fuck. Why not? <laughs> but look, he had, the, he had the components, right? The, he went for the BKB anyway, so he oh, could have so done BKB Orchid with Disassembling the Echo Saber, but he doesn't need to. He knows how rich he is. They will find a kill here, though. Aramis, he's split away from his team. At least they're able to kill the support still, because these tank, these tanky, tanky cores, still will be a big problem. But see. they're trying here. Yeah, see if they can find another. I mean, they can catch them out alone. I mean, obviously, still not the, the cores. These BKBs stop them from making any sort of play. They, they can at least try and poke out BKB charges. Uh, a bit of a tickle on to Boom here. As Boom. He's getting beat down a little bit, but still has the Aegis. He's going to turn his attention over towards Quakeva. Oh, nice ooh, whiffs the RP. But the BKB, it's an uh, Quakeva. He gets kicked away by Tiger and, and dodges the Shockwave. All right, nice disengage from Liquid. Toby's dead as well. Uh, Mikkei, he's picking up the kills on the back line. They roll back in with the wall down as well. On to Boom. Boom can't screw right. out of this. As Liquid, can they get Celery as well? No, they can't. He's out with the TP. All oh, right. Some I mean, signs of life here from Liquid. Yeah, with the, that way they got the jump in. Look at Koikva's damage. This is what we were talking about. If he's okay. able to actually sit back and do his entire toolkit, which he was able to on the Magnus, they kited him and played around it perfectly. Such a nice Yule Scepter by Koikva to disengage. Dodge that RP. And they went on Toby at the same time. It was a yeah. nice little split move yeah. by Liquid there to catch those split up heroes. I guess th this was a fight, of course, though, where Shab was not involved at all. He showed up at the end just to kill a yeah. Grimstroke in two hits. Oh, okay. So, yeah, again. Not so really a standard contribution so far, just killing yep. Insania at the end of the fight. Uh, but no, a sign of life. Some, yeah, Liquid able to, to do it. And, of course, against a Magnus, boom, he had that Aegis. That was through two two rounds of the Mag's life pool. Mm -hmm. Man, that, was, that was very surprising, the way they, took, they uh, split them up there. Still... Viking in a very comfortable spot. This Sven, an absolute beast. When he does, whenever he is turned up into the fights. I think it's rare they'll split so far away from their Magnus now. Because he was really alone on an island. There was nobody else really around him at the time there besides Toby up in north. Rune spots bottom. 
will be an illusion. Mecha is still growing. Still getting stronger and stronger. Illusion. Still has quite a bit to gain where he can actually stand toe-to-toe -to -toe ever versus the Sven. Oh, the Orbit destruction for both sides. Very nice for... Well, I mean, either of the carries. I mean, I don't know what's, what's Shag got at the moment. The Quickening Charm. I guess he'll opt to, to keep that, even though the Orbit destruction can be very nice on, on the Sven. You know, you're sort of leading He's in with the Axe. Enough. I guess so, sure. You'd rather play... Play for the greed, play for the, for the reduced cooldown on your, your Midas. <laughs> that's the one you think about, not the stun or Dude, anything. That's, it's yeah, about that's the Midas. Why, that's why he's keeping it. <laughs> Who cares about the abilities? He's got a Midas. I mean, it's I'm not saying the that BKB, though, it's not the Stormhammer, the two important ones, it's that's, the Midas. That's what he's thinking about. <laughs> he, he's not saying that, I believe his Midas is off cooldown and he hasn't used it for quite some time now, so come on, chat. That's because of the quickening charm, though, he so didn't he's, know. He's waiting for creeps. Yeah. There we go. Back to, back to farming. Yeah, though, quickening charm. Seems, I mean, seems kind of okay. Your Stormhammer is going to have like a six second cooldown or seven point seven second cooldown for him to just zoom and bounce around inside the team fight. So, sure. And now they're grouped up. Now they're looking for the fight. Who's it going to be that they find? Oh, Koifa. I mean, he's the damage dealer. Ooh. Oh, oh, Koifa. Oh, oh, Toby. He's got a. Is he going to? Nah, he doesn't oh. want to go for it. He just zooms away. Okay. Lines thrown on map by Liquid. They're like, push the lanes. They saw a moment of Viking there. Some time wasted for Viking. Look yeah, at that they're, net worth. They're Liquid's splitting up the map nicely, Liquid. They're starting they're, to get a good amount. Yeah, during these moments where Viking's running around as five, the Liquid are in all three lanes. I'm very surprised that they're able to actually do this, do this uh, in the last few moments after that last fight. Mika did a good job cutting bottom with his Mant Illusions. They're, they're having Ion Shells. Constantly cutting the waves as we see up top. There's only one, I think, one range creeper so that survived. Yeah, Boxy's trying to no. make sure that Viking does not hit those towers grouped up. No, the, the, the real test will be to see what Liquid do in the fight when in it the is fight. the 5v5. Yep. Where Shad's here, there's 20k net worth Sven. You know, it, it, it's very, you know, it, it is definitely something to, to think about that the Liquid are closing the gap a little bit, but wh how much is it going to matter when they're fighting this Sven? That, yep. That's going to be the. When they need to take a, a head on, maker. when they need to take the head on five v five, yeah. the, I think the best play for Liquid really is just don't let that happen. Just get those back lines. I think it's really going to be important for Taiga as well as Mike just to get on top of the Earth, or get on top of the Rubik, get on top of the Snapfire, bait those kind of BKBs. They have to play really smart in these fights. It's going to be tough for them, but starting to see a possibility for them in this game. Basher almost finished on Mike too. Viking still has firm control, but Liquid. Small gains. Uh, full Satanic on Shad. Yeah, he's still, uh, still a big boy. They see the Ion Shell top, so they should expect, you know, Boxy is going to be positioned around top. So now, if they can t find a fight mid or bottom, they know the Darkseer most likely cannot turn up. And the Liquid. Yeah, doing a, doing a very good job of avoiding these moves. Mm -hmm. Like in GG for for all this effort of, of coming into the jungle of Liquid and going between the top and the mid lane, they haven't found an opportunity to jump. Well, if it's one thing that Liquid does get beaten into their heads nonstop from Blitz, it is wave clear. And look at them. Look at that beautiful wave clear right there. They're there. sitting back, throwing out the nukes. Yep, push those lanes out. Buy time for Mickey to get farm comparable to the Sven. So we see bottom, Mickey just constantly sending illusions. They're making a move now. I'll say accelerate. That'll be an easy pick. There you go. They seize an opportunity. Liquid stepping up the plays now, playing nice and carefully. The question is if they can get out. Oh. That stun from Shad says certainly not to insane in. attempted escape. Toby, can he get any catches? Got blink up. Mickey and Tiger out a little too far. Won't be able to chase any further, so. But we can see the way, you can see how Liquid's wanting to play, right? Force the lanes in, catch heroes when they're split up. Catch heroes when they're trying to match that split push. Now Blitz, I think Blitz would be proud of that double nuke there, right? That stroke of fate plus Boulder Smash just clearing out those creeps. Boxy, he's continuing to do his creep, uh, creep cutting and creep clearing with that Iron Shell. Looking at him with that Quelling Blade, cutting some trees, doing some fun maneuvers to get to the next creep wave. I think Liquid, a Viking might start being prepared for those, though, soon. We'll be able to disjoint. Yeah, I mean, if you're Viking now, and this 
position. You, you know that Shad is insanely farmed. She's got this very, very large lead. Uh, are you kind of like, well, okay, if they want to sort of split this up, we will continue to farm because we do still feel pretty confident as this goes on? Or is there a little bit of them that worries about the Ricky in the late game? Or, or, or do they not really care still, Viking? I think they should still be fine. It's just yeah. always scary because you're playing versus Zeus. Right? So it's like, if they ever want to go high ground, the potential of just Zeus blasting everyone from high ground is too scary. So the further, further lead they gain, I think they're comfortable. They'll get Aegis Cheese, they'll get all these different, like, refresher shards. And if they do ever get to those points where they are taking control of too many maps, you know, Magnus, they have heroes that really benefit off of, you know, okay. refreshers, etc. So I think mm -hmm. I think they should still be okay. They shouldn't be panicking at all. They're still, they're still yep. very comfortable. Yeah, still for as much of at the farm that Rick has been able to pick up. He still sits, you know, what, 7,000 behind that. Yeah. The, the Sven, you know, easily an item and item and a half behind Shad. Really impressed with how they're splitting the map up, though, on the side of Liquid. Yeah, Another they're, tower they're holding on nicely. And, and, you know, that sort of 6k lead is sat there for, for the past seven minutes or so. They've yeah. really managed to slow down that, that large advantage that Viking have been growing with their farming power. And you can see it here just, in fact, yeah, for... They've chunked it down. For longer than that, a lot longer. It's about 17 minutes, really. It's just sort of hovered around this in XP as well. So stabilizing the game, is that going to be enough to deal with Shad? We'll find out once, once the fights actually kick off again. We're really yet to see Shad turn up to in a big 5v5 in the second half of the game. I mean, he's still mad. He's actually MKB's sold the Midas. Oh, I it's mean, an I'm early playing. sell. This might just be yeah. saying, let's go. let's go for Roche, get Aegis Cheese, and let's yeah. end this. I think they might be getting a little sick of getting this like split push action going on here. Yeah, and do you think that's sort of a fine call to make? Like, as you, as you said, they are in a good place. They should be able to do this and have a pretty good shot at still running over Liquid in the 5v5s so if they go high ground with yeah. Aegis. If they have the Aegis Cheese, if they're able to jump the targets. But Liquid, look at this. It's Liquid's doing a fantastic yes. job of look at the lanes, like bottom. Tiger shows up, kicks a boulder, pulls it back, lanes pushed, Zeus is going to ult for some information, and then back to pushing lanes out. Look, immediately Koikpa, he sees the heroes, he pushes out mid a little bit, Mikis starts moving bottom, but here it goes. So yeah. Aegis Cheese is going to be claimed, let's see if they're able to actually hold their ground now versus this. I did pop the god strength though for the Roche, so it won't be there for the high ground push. So they'll have to wait until that one's back up, but time needs to be spent anyway, recovering the state of that, that bottom lane position as yep. you mentioned. You're pushing that back out. They still got time too, right? They still have so oh, much yeah. time with that Aegis, so he can wait till the next God Strength, and then they can look to go. They're still very good on their levels too. Everyone has Halberds, right? We have uh, Halberd on Earth Spirit, Halberd on Dark, the two that can. So Halberds with Grimstroke Ult, they have good two ways of double disarming. And plus, just Halberd, always very good versus that Sven. And Butterfly was finished up on Mickey, but there is the MKB, as we said before, on the Sven already. So he does have a preventative measure. Oh, pings out onto Boxy Top. They see him pushing out rather far on his own. Oh, did they see him for a second there? So if they're going to hunt him, Toby tries for the blind jump into the lane, but Boxy out in the trees and away with the TP. He'll make it out of that. They're I'm continuing to do a very good job of keeping the split push up without getting caught. It's very impressive. You're playing versus Slardar. A hero that can zoom across the map, like Rubik as well. These heroes, they have ways to catch, but Liquid's not getting caught out during their split push. Boom. Spots Tiger. Oh, Tiger. It's actually going to roll in aggressively on this. They've got Mickey watching from the side, but they know it's a little too close to the base of Viking GG. Nothing less than a, a bit of a poke. They, they cannot commit onto that kill. They saw three or four heroes, though. They know immediately, back away, push the other lanes out. Look at this, line is drawn. Taiga says, go top, take control of the top area in the meantime, while three, four heroes showed bottom. Again, they're, I mean, they're splitting Viking up over and over again, forcing them to react to Liquid's movements. And now, they want to try again here to bully. I still got the Aegis and the BKB, boom. They're trying to force that BKB so they can try to make a play, but... He's being careful. See Shad, he's actually going to TP up to the top lane. Ooh. Seeing if he can get in range for the stun on Boxy, but Boxy already out with the Surge. Just hugging those tree lines there, not getting caught out. Look at Liquid now bottom, then they see two heroes show top. They're looking to try to catch something on the bottom side, Taiga. Let's see if we can get the catch, he has. 
He's on top of him. Aramis. Very nice. Will fall. They're doing. Yeah, they're, they're playing. Their, they're playing perfectly. Vikings kind of playing into their hands. I right, will have a little bit of a pause here. I mean, this might be a strategy pause. I was going to say right? this feels like a bit of a, t a moment. You know, not to say that it is. I'm sure he genuinely does have lag, but this would not be a bad moment to be like, right, guys, what are we doing? Yeah, what's going what, on right what, now? What, are we, what, what should we do? We're, we're getting split. We're, we are ahead. You know, we've got this lead, but for the last 20 minutes, we've not been able to do anything more with it. We've got the ages. We've got the cheese. Where, where are we going to go? They're splitting us. They're pushing out these lanes. We're having to split up ourselves, push them back. What do we do? They're going to have to get some more clever warding, I think, down in first step. I think the just watching where Boxy... Look look at Boxy. He's, I feel like he's been in that same spot, in that same corner, for 12 minutes. He just keeps ion shelling the waves, just playing around him, and they're not finding him. Same thing for bottom. Taiga, as well as Mikke, have just been playing down here for the last 10, 12 minutes, unpunished. Now they get a courier, but can they get a kill, Taiga? into the trees. Oh. Toby knows that the ways the trees have been cleared here. Oh, he gets the blink in front of the rolling. He is. Tiger does go for the kick away. Rolls in deeper. Push to the side. Have they got a stun in time? No, oh, Toby. The shockwave. Not quite in range. Yeah, yeah, bang on there. That shockwave it actually ending up him. putting him in a position <laughs> uh, where he would have, you know, he would have been in range of that crush it uh, if he hadn't been pulled to the side. Just a little bit. It cut yeah. that one tree and pulled him up to the left. That slaughter stun otherwise would catch. However, finally, 39 minutes in, the tier one drops in five attacks. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna push on. Let's see how yeah. much they can commit to this before having to respond to the other lanes. Because again, mid and top, they're right up towards the tier two towers. Oh, a leveler on the on Koikfa. I do believe that Viking would have really loved that leveler, but that yeah, would have been a bit of a dream <laughs> item for Shad. Did he get to talk about Koifa too much? Because it's just been the, him. He's, he's been in, AFK he's farming AFK very farming. nicely. Yeah, he's got Octarine. He's got pretty much, he's got the Quickening Charm. He's got he's, all the right tools for himself. He's been, I mean, they, uh, this is not sort of the standard farm rate for Azusa, I feel like. He's no. been far, it's just 2k behind the Magnus. Yeah. Uh, this is some very solid creep hitting from Koifa for this game. They will not have an outpost, though, during these last, mm -hmm. during this 40 minute mark. So that experience will go the way of Viking. I think two level 25s and almost a level a third one on the Slardar. 4,000 HP Magnus too with that Havoc Hammer. He's um he's pretty scary. Oh, and a, a very nice item on Rubik too. He has the... Uh, the Shaka. No, awesome. he has the, what is it called? The uh, Timeless Relic or whatever. Oh. Yeah. Super nice for those debuff amplifications. Oh. Taiga. Oh, the Flicker. Okay. I mean, it worked. It, it, it kind of messed up the Slardar a little bit. And, and he'll get out. Uh, he's away. Okay. He's away. I mean, again, Liquid. That's the Aegis. It's they, reclaimed. Time has passed it, and it, it does feel like Viking uh, is still at a, a bit of a loss to what actually do with the power that they have. They're just getting split. Look at this. Koifa pushes out mid. Top's continuing to be pushed out already. Bottom, look at Boxy. All right, yeah, Boxy's already in position to push out the lane again. Ion shells to they're cut it. They're just dodging everything. Just dodging liquid. everything. They're... You know, they're just sort of playing the ha ha, come and get me game. Yep. And Viking, they're just running up and down. And and they're not they're not able to catch anyone. They're starting to really push forward though on those towers, getting a little more confident. Which to is, go for them. I, I feel like this is what they need to do, right? But why? Yeah. I mean, why are they sort of chasing? Why not just fully commit down one lane and start going for the base? Because you do have this this God's Trek 25 Sven. Like you're going to hit buildings pretty quickly. Why is it that they feel that they cannot commit for a five man down one lane? It's just, I guess, it's the fear of the Sven. All right, it's the fear of the Zeus. Sorry, it okay. just has to be the fear of the Zeus on the high ground. There, there's no other real explanation for it. It's their side lanes are getting pushed. They don't want to lose structural damage on the side, and just Zeus is. Zeus and Sniper and Tinker, right? Those three, they're the kings of high ground. Haven't been able to find the opportunity, but now Boxy walks in, but a Zeus ult reveals them, and they can't actually get him either, and he'll Ion Shell the wave and push it out again. Meanwhile, Mikke pushes top, and Viking continues to be split up. Yeah, no, this is, I mean, uh, this last 15 minutes or so, I think this Look is some of, some of the best evasive Dota we've seen from a, from a team. Yeah, Liquid just 50. dodging everything. They're, the map movements, it's... Something that wasn't there for Liquid in the past two games, it feels, even in the one that they won. But this game three, it really seems like Liquid have just sort of switched themselves on oh. and uh, are avoiding everything that Viking's throwing at them. They saw Mickey for a second there, but he will be able to just skitter away. And it seems like the solution for Viking is going to be Shadow Blades. Okay. What better way to catch split pushes than Invis and run at them here? And also they give a gem to Toby. Sorry, it's, it's, it seems like they're starting to, you know, those... Those wheels are starting to turn inside their brain to think of how to catch people. Oh, and there's the catch. catch. 
<laughs> it's just gone. Straight in onto Mika. I mean, you can't blame him for throwing all the ults down there. It's been such a, a dry period for Viking in terms of just oh. finding the blood. They've not found any kill. As soon as it gets presented, they're fully in on Mika. And you see how fast that lead swings. All the way back up to 11k. Aramis gets a very nice steal here. Surge in this game with his Sven, with his Slardar, with his Magnus. Now it's time for them to try to go high ground, but you see what goes on? Zeus plus Grimstroke. That creep wave is instantly cleared. Very hard for them to get on the top of Quake, yeah. just having the, the Blink and the Yules, like who's going to make the jump? He's As long as he's focused on, on the way that they're closing in on him, he's always going to be able to Blink dodge into a Yule Scepter, and suddenly the, the chase of like the stun from the Sven, it's, as we've seen before, not going to work again, the disjoint of the Blink. Uh-oh. Boom. Gets the pick up on Boxy, outside of the base he goes. Does get the Lotus off on himself in time. The wall's going to be dropped down, but the BKBs are committed. Bye bye. There'll be a buyback from Mickey. He wants to turn up to this fight. Boom and Shad focus down the Earth Mickey. Spirit. Mickey, he bought back for this one. The tricks of the trade though and the damage of the Zeus. Is it working enough? It's no, not. Mickey's gone. Shad just turns around, takes Mickey out. That is a dieback on the Ricky. Shad to Chad, holds his, high, holds his ground, takes him out in two, three swings. And I mean, that is, that's a dead... Ricky for a hundred seconds. Viking themselves though, they did also commit with three buybacks here. So if Liquid can hold for this a hundred seconds, there will be a window for Liquid to strike back. But that is the question if if they can. Can they defend for a hundred? They do have that Zeus though. As you mentioned, can. yeah. It's it's incredibly hard for them to push into. He's got a refresher now too. I mean his his damage still continues to build up. And they cannot break the base. They will back up for a moment here. Shad, ooh, finds himself a DD. Lovely. Okay. Only hitting for 670 now per hit without the God Strength active. Well, let's see. DD and God Strength ready very shortly. One minute still without McKay in action. No funny business. They have to commit forward here. Oh, 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 oh <laughs> whoa, whoa. Shad, he's in. Doesn't BKB. In but pretty deep, Toby. Crush on Insania, they get the kill. Fortification will be popped by Liquid. A Viking, they'll turn their attention back towards the building. There's God's God strength, strength pop. Shad gonna push in, Boxy up in a couple of seconds, but still 40 now without two of them. And They're up in charge forward with the stun. He's in onto Tiger. Tiger also down without buyback as Viking. They'll quickly move to the top set of Rex. Looks to take down a second. And they'll be able to find this. Not enough damage that Quaifer can do to push them the back, especially with those BKBs back up once again. As I say that, they're not hitting the melee racks. They're... Now they are. Okay, it's a little bit of a fake back. They step Another away, Lotus. jump back in, over towards Boxy. Boxy lifted up by the Telekinesis. The Darkseer is dead. Viking can finish off that top racks and move down for more on the bottom. If they want to, though, because time has been bought. Mickey's finally back in the game. But Viking, they were able to do the damage. They're two sets of racks up now, now up to closing on a, a 20k gold lead. They finally have broken the base. They finally have broken Liquid's constant split push. When they are able to actually take a head-on fight, we see what actually does yeah. happen, right? That vacuum, that wall comes out. It looks pretty. It looks real nice with Tiger rolling in with the Magnetize. They just pop their BKBs. Three hit Mickey inside of the fight. And we're just, yeah, we're seeing the actual power of what Viking has really had the entirety of this game but what Liquid was preventing. And Roshan, there we go, five seconds. Yup. Oh, check it out. Moonshard eaten. There we have it. Shad can also eat his Aghanims if he chooses to in a moment. Yup, he's just got more than enough funds to do so. Yup, and what was it actually on the Rosh this time? Was it a refresher? It is an Aghanims. Okay, so Toby now has an Aghanims if you would like it. The puddle, the beautiful puddle versus a Zeus would be very nice. Because he can just tank those spells. Yeah, you can just charge straight at them. Yeah. Sort of force the, the Blink Yule's reaction out from the Zeus, which will then leave him vulnerable to Shad coming in with the, the follow up play. Scouting people out with this ult, trying to see if Mick is in any trouble down bottom. Lanes now, though. Now the lanes are much harder for them to just constantly do their split push action because those Raxes are taken out. The Viking. Yeah, Liquid just very much playing now for. For the hope that Viking yeah. do dive a little far, BKBs wear out, Quaifer somehow hasn't been gotten on top of, and he can turn back and, and kick out the damage because the Quaifer is insanely farmed. He and will throw out a lot of damage if he gets the chance to do so. 
he just really feels like the only damage though, right? Mickey, he's great versus those supports. Yes. But versus those cores, he gets eaten alive. So it really does feel like the entire weight of it all is really on Koikva's positioning. Yeah. If he's able to just kill everybody pretty much on the other te enemy team. Mickey just, yeah, he can't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe versus these cores. They're just way too buff. And now, oh, Toby's level 25. The talent of Doom. Corrosive Haze, undispellable. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Mantas, mm -hmm. etc. nothing, remove it. You're always going to know exactly where those targets are if he does cast it on them. Makes the game very difficult. And he has Orbit Destruction and minus 28 armor whenever he does put it on anybody if he hits somebody. So, yeah, it, it's... It's back to how it was. The impossibility for Liquid. Yeah, it's... I mean, we've pretty much seen what the, the last 25 minutes has been Liquid saying, hey, you know, we can keep this game going. We can make these split moves. Yeah. But the reality of it really is that the, the draft already was always going to be hard to play. And that before they started making those nice moves, sort of pulling Viking up and down the map, they'd already fallen behind. Yes. You know, Viking, they'd already got that initial sort of flight, uh, the, the, the power at the beginning to give them this Midas. Sven, Shad just having free farm for the whole game. It was just a little too much from that point. And, and now Liquid, they're just down to this last hope of the last set of racks. Playing for, for that chance that maybe Viking throw with a with little over aggression. Maybe somehow they can get Shad to, to charge in on someone with the stun whilst they pull him back towards the fountain. <laughs> that's what we're thinking that's, of right now. That's it's what they're true. playing for. It really is, though. Yeah. I, I don't really see a way back for them to... Yeah, just killing down. these cores. It, these cores are just way too strong, and they're trapped in their base now. Mikkev really starting to fall further and further behind. Yeah, the actual team fight's just still just absolutely impossible. Those supports, though, you know, Rubik, Rubik and Snapfire, they're still food. I say that, but I mean, it's a limited cape and a four staff and uh, some spidey legs and an Aeon disc also on Ruby, so maybe not so much food anymore. They've started to pick up those items. Ooh, a DD. Oh, well, that's to be quick, though. It's going to be disappearing in 10 seconds. <gasps> they make it. Uh, he's got it. And let's see if he wants to hang around for the second one. Nah. Give him a haste. Haste top. Ah, oh, it's oh, fine. It Look at that. Right. I was he right. I was I mean, right, man. Yeah, I said as well, you should have stuck around. Uh, should have stuck around, boom. Ah, missed opportunities. It's always a DD and then a haste right outside yeah. the Roche pit. Just especially if Nahaz is watching, just to just to aggravate him. It's coded like that. Pick it up, <laughs> <laughs> Trying to split push again any way they can. Like we said, the illusions, the ion shells, everything, but they're really just trapped now. They're, they cannot leave that base. These double wards placed down from Viking. Watching any attempts of movement from Liquid. Aegis, about one more minute left on it. See if they really start to drive that issue forward here. But they've got, they've got space to grow, right? Level 30s are still there. They're still available. They're just waiting for the opportunity if someone does show. If someone does try to nuke this lane. Don't do it, Mickey. Toby, he'll walk up. He'll see Ooh, you. Oh, there's the lead in. Mickey, he's going up. He catches both for the Mickey's out. Tiger as well. The quick, swift jump there from Viking should be enough to set this game and series to an end. Fortification will come out. I mean, Viking, they're backing up a little. Boxy's trying Ooh. for the vacuum wall. They get the bug on the two of them, but Shad turns over towards Boxy, mate. Okay. Koifer kicking out the damage, but Boxy straight away turned upon by Shad huh. and Toby inside the base. Boom, having to put the BKB, Boxy will buy back. Did you see that? Did he vacuum him out of the Sven stun? I think he vacuumed him in midair and it canceled the Sven stun for a second. My eyes might be might be losing it. We, but might, be able, we might be able to catch a replay on that, but... I've it, been seeing his Storm Spirits get pulled out of their zip from vacuum. Well, can you I get miss, pulled out of... You get pulled out of the stun? You're in technically... Remember, it vacuum hits in vulnerable targets now. So oh, I think it, it would. actually then would. It would. Yeah, I think you're I saw right. that right. I don't think I'm on that many drugs. I think you're definitely right there. It looked like it happened. Yeah. Either way, it didn't change anything, but I saw cool interaction and that's what I love about Dota. Chad? I mean, Quifer, he's trying his best. Yeah, he's really is. He's trying his best to God hold this him. off. Pushing them off, using all the lightning. Now look, I mean, that those are lots of uphill misses. Celery, there we go. He finally takes it out. The Bruising Brothers hitting the tower now. Ah, this will be the Megas. Boxy's going to try again. The BKB's popped, though. I mean, does not mean his BKB's going to win. Okay, never mind. He's got Post a refresher. refresher. Yeah. yeah, he's got a second round of it. Uh, second one will start a full shot, but he got the God Straight back up. Two shots out, Tiger. 
Yeah, the jump in, Toby committing inside of the base whilst the rest of them have actually backed They got off. Vegas. They're, they're fine. They're like, Toby, you know what? Yeah. Oh, he's actually out as well. You're with fine. VKBTP. Okay. So okay. continue to play it safe. I think there's you know, sort of a point of this game where Vikings are like, oh, man, these guys are really trying. Yeah, what <laughs> the hell? Can you guys just yeah, GG just out? Like, come on, guys. Like, Vikings they're like, really cheap. making them work. 42,000 gold lead. <laughs> Liquid not to give up. They're holding on. Hey, Still for that one percent, the chance that the throw could happen. If I've seen any teams win games sure, Liquid from have, a 50k yeah. gold loss, it's yeah. been a team like so Liquid. So. That's a 5% chance. You play on for that. You play on for the 5% here. And because, you know, last few times, sure, they've really? been losing the racks, but yeah. Koifa hasn't been dying. He has managed to find these positions where uh -huh. he's been able to sit back. They're, they're, they're trying to leave the base, though, now. Those Ooh. mega creeps, they're going to start pushing in. The stroke of fate, it isn't revealed. Riding the surf surfboard out for the Earth Spirit. Going for the Zeus old Toby. Aye, they found him. And they'll get him. That's one. That's one. They need a few more of these. Now they got to go back and address their oh, lanes. Oh, no, here comes Shadow and Aramis. They found McKay. McKay needs help, and he needs it now. The Lotus will be off and over oh, the RP. RP. Coming in from the backside. Boom. Lands it on the three of them as he catches them all. That'll be Boxy gone for two minutes. Tiger as well is out. Now, can Quake for defend? Can Quake for do it? Let's I don't think can so. Can Quake for defend? He's going to try. <laughs> Oh, level 30's online. Oh, Mickey. Oh, the Manta dodge. Arteezy, step aside. Beautiful. Mickey back in, goes in with the smoke screen onto the Magnus. Boom. Getting low. Mickey, also getting low. Can Mickey jump out in time? He, another dodge. Shad. Oh, oh he's oh. dying. He's oh. dying. He's not down. Koifa's doing it. 1,500 gold to Koifa. Koifa is... Dude, this the suit. But the creeps are doing it too. Um, the Koifa's doing it. He's doing it. He's holding on. Oh, Mickey. The oh, scepter. he's got someone to jump to. Uh, oh. He's been silenced, but Kate. He's live. Oh, he's going to accelerate. Oh, he's got the bash. He's, he's got, got the deal. Okay. Oh, he's going for boom as well. Oh, oh McKay, he's jumped into his death. Koipa. He's got to come up with some sick jukes now. Oh. And the creeps hurt. Oh. Are they sick enough? Blink up in a second. Oh, it's there. The he's blink. The TP. He's out and away. Koipa. They're based, though. The tier fours. Koipa. He's, he's there. Koipa's on the defense. Koipa's got it. Okay. Koipa on the defense. He's holding on, holding on. 41,000, they hold for a moment and here Koifa though. And don't care, he don't care about that difference. Six, one and 15, he is holding on right now. <laughs> Seeing the poor Sven get caught inside the Venn diagram of Nimbus's. The one thing though, you know, Koifa, his, his damage numbers at the end of the game are gonna be looking pretty hefty. That's very true. And he's gonna have a lot of damage done. As he is, he's doing it. The defense from Koifa keeping this game Open for Liquid. Ah, look at that damage dealt. 93,000. Ooh, that's a, that's a lot. And if any, if this tells you anything, it's how much Liquid was splitting away from Viking. Just the damage numbers. Viking is 34 to 24. They have a 40k gold lead, but look at their damage, how little it is. Because they've just split up the whole time from Liquid. But they, when they do punch, they punch hard. I mean, Say look at this. This was when Shab went oh, in. Oh, the and Manta. Yeah, Mickey. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. And then... All right. Now he's going for the Battle Fury. Now it's time for it to come online. He needs yeah, it for those need, Megas. You need it against the Megas. You, at this point, you just go Battle Fury, you go Rapier. I yep. think if you're this, uh, if this rookie. I have to be inclined to agree. I've got the double Hex. So Koifa now not only having the Blink to get away if Ooh, someone goes another, on him, he's going to have the Hexes. Oh, another Roche though. Ooh, go through even more. Uh, who wants the Aghanims this time around? I don't know, because Shad has everything. He's Probably completely celery. full. Oh, you can eat people. Yeah, you can shoot the Sven in. You can shoot multiple people in. You can shoot, I mean, you can shoot creeps in too. I like shooting creeps in personally, but. That's true, actually, yeah. It's less so. Chat, less chat doesn't need to be shot in, neither yeah. does the Magnus. They're no. both getting their own way to the front lines. But they they give give the, who do you give the eggs to? Ru Rubik. Yeah, they give it Rubik. Oh. Uh, that's, that's smarter. <laughs> as he has a timeless record, Lelic, and a yeah. pressure shard as well. That they've got everything at their arsenal. Boom, not quite level 30. He's about oh, to be. Thing. Can Quake for defend. 52,000 50 gold leads. Oh, they're in! Insania, he's gonna go down, Tiger's gonna roll forward, the Nimbus the is Lotus. down the front, the Lotus doesn't have the two of them, the Hex out on a boom, but boom, still able to pot the BKB, buyback comes out from Insania, boom, the gets the RP on the two of them, Mickey's out, no buyback on the Rikkei, starting to fire out the Mortimer's Kisses, Koifa's gotta get back, triple kill for Shad as he's cleaning up, the Hex will Koifa out, onto the Magnus, but the jump's there, they're on Koifa. top of Koifa, oh, he's got buyback, Koifa will come in with it, but they're already calling it, GG is there, no. the Rampage will be denied. As Viking GG will finally close this one up, despite Liquid's best efforts to to draw as long as possible.